All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie. Today, I'm super, super excited because I'm getting a third Lamy 2000. Um, so original Lamy 2000, Lamy 2000 uh, special edition Bauhaus, the blue Lamy 2000, and now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the brown. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, I am so excited. I'm beyond excited. Um, <laughs> so excited. This uh, has been sitting in the mailbox all weekend because I was at my cottage and uh, it arrived after I left for said cottage. And so uh, I know it was here and I am now home and ready to get into it. Uh, so I've taken it out of the brown uh, mailing package that it came in, like the cardboard thingy. But I have not opened it beyond that. Oh, so I'm saving it for all of you to do it on camera for the first time. This is a very, very large box. It does not even fit in frame because my tripod is not large enough. In fact, as you can see here, it's sitting on the leg of the tripod. Ooh, this is a nice box. This is a very nice box. So it is brown. And the sort of like feeling of the material is very similar to the material of the pen itself. Um, so that's a really nice touch. And of course it just says Lamy. I bought this from Wonder Pens in Toronto. I think the whole box is just solid. And then it slides out. Oh, I'm so excited, oh my God. And then it has another box that looks pretty much same, same. Yeah, just a slide, no, it opens. Oh, it opens, it opens so good. So on the inside, yeah, you're gonna see my messy desk. It just says Lamy, it folds open like this, which I cannot keep open. <laughs> ah, it has a cardboardy piece. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh. Bought this from Wonder Pens in Toronto. I actually missed out the first time, um, but somebody canceled and I was able to get it. So a little piece of tissue paper here covering the notebook. This, uh, I'm just gonna put this down because it won't stay. This is very different from the notebook that came in the last one. This is actually real leather. It's a little bit skinnier. The lining, sorry to share Parker. Uh, looks like the same paper, which is slightly disappointing because I don't love their paper, but wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, is that soft. Wowza. Uh, and then, oh, I don't want to look at the pen yet. I don't want to look at the pen yet. Okay, so it's not a box, it's just a it's just a lid. So I'm gonna take up tissue paper. Ooh, what's this? This must be just maybe a little bit of history about the Lamy 2000. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. So I'm thinking this is gonna become a yearly thing, which if it does. I'm not mad about it, but also I won't be able to afford it every year, so. Um, oh, and this just tells you more about the pen itself, the exclusive notebook, and the book about the designer that is also in here. Different models, the ink, how to fill it, clean it, the number. So apparently I have number 417 out of 3,300. Okay, let's move on. More tissue paper. The designer who got forgotten. <laughs> That's so sad. So it's a nice book about the designer, which is cool. Very nice, very nice. I will read through that. Let me know if you want me to do a video on just this book here. Uh, I'm not sure if that was be something that you're all interested in, but. I will do it if you want me to put all this back, even though I don't know why. I tend to keep things in the box for like a week and then I get rid of the box. 
she's beautiful. Oh, she's so pretty. Isn't she lovely? Ooh, hello, friend. Hello, my love. <laughs> yes, I talk to my pens this way. All right. So just like the blue, it has the number engraved on the side. So this one only had 1,919. This one has 3,300. I don't know why they decided to do more. I guess I'll have to read in that book and find out. But there you go. So it says Lamy on both sides. I believe that's like the original as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me pop the top. Oh, hello. <laughs> Um, I got the oblique medium nib. Oops. So you can see there, it's got that nice slant. And to get the piston. Oh, the Lamy. Lamy 2000s have some of the slickest pistons. It's just so nice. Oh my god. I'm dying. It's so pretty. I love browns. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that browns are my favorite. They are not most people's. <laughs> I am definitely one of the few when it comes to that. I love very dark, warm, rich, earthy tones. Um, oh my gosh. So this, in my opinion, is even better than the blue. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I have a problem. Um, I kind of want to get the stainless steel just to have the full collection of Lamy 2000s. But I know it's really heavy and I just... I don't love the steel look, but I almost want to do it just to complete the collection. Um, so I will do a closer look up of this pen. Um, kind of do a deep dive like I did with the blue. Um, but, oh my gosh, I just wanted to open it and stare at its beauty. I'm going to go flush it out because they always do the tester pens with it and get the blue ink all over here. So I'm going to go flush it out so that I can ink it up tomorrow when I get home from work. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> uh, apologies for my weird pen obsession, but you guys get it. I'm, I trust you guys get it. <laughs> um, if you want to see more like it, do hit that subscribe. If you want to see more every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A, hit that like and leave a comment because that helps out the algorithms so I can make more content for you guys. Oh, just, would you just look at it? <laughs> Okay. Oh man. All right. Thank you for watching. If you're still watching at this point, you're the reason why I make these videos. And as always, thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.